Walsh. We begin with continuing coverage after a week of panic with demand outpacing supply in some areas. Many of you may be concerned about gas prices or availability before your weekend travels. Debbie Williams is live at a local gas station tonight and Debbie, there appears to be plenty of gas, but what are the prices like? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no $3 gas in Baldwin County yet, but you can see it's getting pretty close. We traveled from I-65 all the way to Gulf Shores on Highway 59, checked out more than three dozen gas stations. Here's what you can expect to pay at the pump. If this is your destination this weekend, you still have about 53 miles to go once you get off Interstate 65. Highway 59, still the most popular route to the beaches. Right off the interstate is your first chance to gas up, where gas is running about 287 a gallon. But if you wait until you get a little further down the road into the city of Bay Manette, there are at least half a dozen cheaper choices. The average cost in Bay Manette, 284 a gallon. The best prices we found were in Loxley, with seven gas stations to choose from, but the cheapest at the Speedway and Love's Truck Stop, both stations with regular unleaded at 275 a gallon. The further south you travel, the higher the prices. In Robertsdale, the cheapest we found was 289, the highest 291 a gallon. In Somerdale, there's no competition for your cash. All three stations on Highway 59 are charging 289 a gallon. And as you approach Foley, you may want to stop at the first station you come to, where gas is 285 a gallon at the Shell station at Fern and Highway 59. Just down the road, it creeps up to 291 a gallon. The cheapest gas south of I-10 is at County Road 10. The Shell station posting 279 just before you get into Gulf Shores. Closer to the city, you'll pay 288 or 289 a gallon. And at the bottom of the Intercoastal Waterway Bridge, you have two choices, 292 a gallon on the southbound side of 59, but across the street, it's 289 a gallon. No matter what you pay for the fuel that gets you to Alabama's beaches, once you get here, it'll be worth it. Do love that sound, don't you? Now, of course, there's another route to the beaches, and that's the expressways. This is Foley Beach Express. You can see it's pretty busy. Now, on the Beach Express, you have uh, cheap gas at Bucky's, $2.75 a gallon. Otherwise, you're going to pay anywhere from $2.87 to $2.91 all the way to the beach. On the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.